Only on five tonight, an entire community forced to move out of their homes. And Chris, the water has been turned off, but now mobile homeowners are making a mess of the place on their way out. National 5's Homa Bash is on Larwell Road in Worcester and Homa. Can you describe what you're seeing there? It looks like a disaster zone, just honestly, like a tornado tore through this mobile home. But actually, it's residents that have done this to their own homes after being forced to leave. Somebody robbed us. George Manuel has been living in Worcester's Larval Mobile Home Park for 30 years. In 30 days, he's got to get out. I'm not leaving till the last moment because it's wrong. I have nowhere to go. I'm not just going to go on the streets in a cardboard box. The city turned off the residents' water on Monday after the landlord racked up more than $200,000 in unpaid water bills. You know, when you think you got a roof over top of your, your, your wife and your, and your family, and then all of a sudden everything gets shut down, there's nothing here. Everybody that lived here that has kids, it's ridiculous. They were given 60 days' notice, so many, like the Dougherty family, have already moved out, leaving what was once a thriving community of kids and families like this. Now it's like a ghost town. People tearing down their own homes to make little money off the scraps. It wasn't free to live here. It's not free to have my trailers. For the ones that remain, it isn't easy. A hot tub filled with water to flush toilets and buckets used to bathe. The people ain't used to this and we shouldn't be this way because neglect on, on the property owner is just ridiculous. I spoke with one of the landlords, Richard Lawrence, over the phone tonight. He refused to answer my questions, asked for why the city of Worcester let this water bill get up so high. That is still unclear. We're going to follow up on this for you. Live in Worcester tonight, I'm Huma Bash, News Channel 5.